Hey guys, welcome back to Maverick Watch Reviews. Now we're going to do a little something different today. About a month and a half ago, I contacted Barton Watch Bands for some different strap options for two watches that I've already reviewed. This Boulder Explorer and this Lilienthal L1. Now I like both of these watches, but the problem is they both come with those quick release spring bars. So if you want to put a NATO strap or any other type of strap on one of these, you need to swap out the quick release spring bars for regular spring bars. Anyway, Barton was kind enough to send me an absolute ton of different strap options, including some, some quick release spring bars that I think uh, they forgot that I wasn't a big fan of, but they're really nice anyway. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna open these watches up, take a look at the different strap options that Barton sent me, and I'm gonna really pick which one I like for each different watch. So first of all, let's put the watches aside, and let's take a look at what Barton sent me. They sent me a ton of stuff, guys. Wow, and they sent me some um, extra spring bars, which was really nice. So you've got these NATO straps right here. You got a really wide one. Uh, let's see here. So let's take a look at everything they sent me. All right, this is a quick release, which I'm not, I probably won't use that. I really prefer NATO straps, uh, basically because it's a, the security factor. I like the fact that if one of the spring bars pops out, the other one's gonna keep the watch on your wrist. So that's why I really do prefer NATO straps. If I don't have a stainless steel strap, uh, with a big, heavy, thick spring bar. So I really do prefer NATO straps. I also just like the way they look. So anyway, so there's another uh, quick release right there. There's a khaki. And what is this? Another quick release. This looks like a really thick one. Anyway, these are, are packaged really nicely. So here we go. Here are the NATOs. You got a gray. You have a leather. Uh, another leather. Another gray. And it looks like a two-piece black right there. Um, some stickers, Barton watch bands, and I'm betting, because Barton is based out of Austin, Texas, I'm betting this star stands for the Lone Star of Texas. I would bet anything. I used to live in Texas, and I know how proud they are of their state. I, I wish I could move back. I absolutely love Texas. Anyway, I'm betting that's what, it's, what that stands for, the Lone Star of Texas. Anyway, so there you go, a couple stickers. Um, and here are some extra spring bars. Good grief, look at that. Everything is nicely labeled, so you know what it is. Here are 20 millimeter bars. Here are 22 millimeter, and I think this is another 20 millimeter. There you go. So two 20 millimeters and one 22. And there's what, two sets in every package? There you go. Yep, really nice. So I want to thank them. First of all, I want to apologize. I should have done this review probably about... Eh, about a month ago, but I've been swamped with watches to review, so I got really backlogged. So I want to apologize to Zach over at Barton Watch Bands for this review coming out so late. I really appreciate y'all sending me the stuff. Uh, they couldn't have been nicer. They couldn't have been more cooperative, and I really, really, really appreciate it. So anyway, so let's take a look at the boulder. Let's open this one up and see. Neat watch. Again, just don't like quick release spring bars. And some of you guys are, you know, might love them, and that's great. I just don't like them because I like to put these on NATO straps. So here you go. You can see the quick release right there. Let's see if I can get this in focus. There we go. See the quick release bar right there on either side. So I'm, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna look at this and I'm gonna see do I wanna put it on a NATO, a green olive drab NATO, which I'm betting that's probably what I'm gonna do. So, so the NATO is the front runner. So the NATO, ah, oh the gosh, the gray would look good too. Huh. Gray would look good too. Leather, eh, no. I'm not feeling the leather. I'm not feeling either leather. I'm not feeling the black two-piece rubber strap. And let's take a look at these other spring bar straps. I'm sure they're probably really nice. They're just not... Yeah, plus a lot of times these two-piece straps are just simply not long enough for my, I think it's about a seven and a half inch wrist. So that's the problem with these. They're simply just not long enough. Wow, really nice quality, guys. Good grief. Really look at, and it's got, uh, look at that, Barton right there, embossed on the inside. I mean, these are quality straps. Uh, these straps range anywhere from 10 to $24. Uh, so there really is a strap um, in your budget range. Uh, make sure you you know you go over to Barton if you're wanting to give your your watch a facelift. Please make sure you go over to Barton Watch Bands and uh, see what they have. They've got just uh, hundreds of different options, man. 
Really, really, really nice selection. So anyway, so you're looking, like I said, between about $11, $12 on up to $20, $24. So anyway, so here we go. So I'm guessing we'll go ahead and do the, we'll do the Olive Drab NATO. Hold on, hold on a second. Is this thing too thick? I think it might be too thick. Gosh darn it, it sure is. It's too wide. I think this is a 22. Let's see. Yep, 22. Gosh darn it. All right, well, what are my other options here? I think these are both 22s. Yep, 22. Uh, 22. Another, well, here's a 20. This might work, so I might have to do the gray. And that'll be fine. Not my first preference. But uh, yeah, the gray will do fine. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and pause the video and I'm gonna go ahead and slap the gray strap onto the boulder and I'll come back in just a minute. Well, actually, in your time, about a second or two. All right, see you in a second. All right, guys, I'm back. Well, <laughs> unfortunately, that uh, green NATO was too small. And I was also gonna try to put it on a leather NATO, and that was also too small. So I slapped it on this black and uh, gray NATO that was a little bit longer. So I think it looks fantastic. So there you go, there's one. There's one facelift completed. I think this looks great, man. Anyway, so let's go ahead and take this off. And now let's look at the uh, Lilienthal Berlin and see which strap looks good on this one. And this is the dress watch. So let's see what we can do here. All right. And this comes on a leather strap, a two piece with the quick release you can see right there. All right, so let's go ahead and pop these off. There we go, there's one. Let's do the other one. If I can get it here. Let's see, easier said than done it looks like, huh? There we go, all right. So let's take a look and see what this is gonna look good on. This is a really nice looking watch, by the way. Really nice watch out of Germany. All right, so I'm betting we might have to use another nylon NATO. I don't know if this leather is gonna work. So anyway, let me see what I can do and I will be back again in just a second. All right, guys, I'm back. <laughs> Funny thing just happened. It looks like that I only had two 20 millimeter straps in all of this. Everything else but the strap, the leather strap for this Lilienthal Berlin and the NATO for this Boulder watch, all of these other straps were 22 millimeters. And these watches are both, both have 20 millimeter lugs. So anyway, so these are really my only options. I mean, I think they look fine. Uh, I much prefer them over the quick release spring bar straps. Uh, the only thing about the leather strap that I'm not crazy about is this leather loop for the NATO. I mean, I'm thinking this might, you know, become more down over time. It's just not as strong as nylon. So I'm a little worried about that. Uh, I think the watch looks great though, uh, but I'm really happy actually with the boulder, with this nylon strap. I'm actually pretty happy with this one. So anyway, there you go. Again, um, if you're going to contact Barton, make sure you obviously get the right millimeter size uh, for your watch. Uh, I just lucked out that two of these uh, were 20 millimeters. Everything else was 22. Um, even the quick releases that they sent me were 22. Uh, I think they had one that was 20, which was this one, which is really, really nice. Feels great, but just, again, too small. Um, but a really, really nice uh, rubber rubber strap here by Barton. Really nice. So anyway, do yourself a favor. Go over there. Check out what they have. Um, again, make sure you know you get the right size, but they have just literally hundreds and hundreds of different options so far as straps go. So do yourself a favor. Check them out. And guys, that's really been about it. I'm trying to think of anything I, I might have missed. Um, again, go over to Barton Watch Bands. Pick yourself up a really nice watch. Give you your, I mean, I'm sorry, pick yourself up a really nice strap. 
uh, and give your watch a, a facelift. If you don't like either, if you don't like the strap that it comes on, or um, if you just want to give your watch a facelift. So anyway, there you go. So that's about it. Anyway, if you like this video, please click on like. If you want to subscribe to my channel, please do so. Um, I have some really cool stuff coming up here in the next week or so. So obviously stay tuned for that. And uh, that's about it, guys. Until the next review, I will see you all later. There you go. Take care. Bye-bye.